guys, it's Amber from Planner Babe Thorn, and I just wanted to come on today and show you how to use snap-in envelopes and ideas on how to use them in your planner. When you go to the store, they come in packages like this. This one is Social Light um, from the Happy Planner Girl line that they just recently, re recently released. It comes with three envelopes. Um, and they're $7.99. So they come in the package and they just come out pretty easily out of that plastic slip and they have three of them. This one is probably like one of my all time favorites because of the florals and like it's just that the cute little diamond design is just really cute. Um, so this is another one and then have courage and be kind. So you can see that it comes in two sizes. This is the smaller size. Um, this is the size comparison. It has one less punch and then a little less space in around the actual envelope. So the envelopes come with flaps. You can see that that's that triangle flap and that flap just slides into that little, this little crease right here you can see how my finger kind of pops through there. So that tab just slides in there so that it stays closed. So we can talk about the sizes in the different planners. So this is the mini planner. This size, the smaller size envelope, fits better in the mini size planner. It fits right along with the length of that paper and it's one um, short one ring short. So when you close it, you can't see the envelope. When you do the classic size, well this is the bigger size, I guess it's not really classic size, but when you use the bigger size envelope, it fits on all of these nine rings. No, three, six, seven rings in the mini planner, sorry. But you see when you close it, you can still see part of that envelope, it sticks out. So if you like that, then it absolutely fits in the mini planner. It just has that little extra because it does have the seven disc punches. So then I'll show you in the classic size planner how they fit. This is my classic faith planner. So you can put it on the top. It would have two rings not used. It fits when it closes. There's nothing poking out on the side and they just punch right back out. With the mini size, it's the same thing. You have three rings that are not being used um, by them. So you can even like layer them like so that it has like, you can see part of this envelope and you can see this envelope. And then same with the smaller sized envelope. It doesn't poke out in the classic size planner. This one, I use, it says memories down here. This is from the Super Mom pack. Um, I would use this one for pictures because it says memories right there. It has a cute little camera. And these are the size of my memory planning pictures. Um, I print them out. They're like the two inches by three inches. Um, I use a grid on my phone to get them that size. So I would just take out the little tab, slide my picture in, secure it so that it won't fall out and then I'll just punch it into my memory planner. Another way that you can use some of these, the bigger envelopes is with a four by six picture. Sometimes for my memory planner, I like to print four by six pictures. Um, so the four by six picture fits perfectly in the bigger size envelopes. And then you would just close it up and then you would have your picture in there. The next thing you can use it for, you can use, you can use any size for this, but is coupons. You can put a smaller size one or a larger size one into your planner, bring it to the grocery store with you. Maybe you have a planner specifically for your meal prepping and your grocery lists and all those things. You can put your coupons right in here um, and then close it up so that your coupons won't fall out, you get to the cash register and your coupons are right there, ready and available for you. 
this is my current budget planner. Um, I use it to write out everything that I um, spend money on. So in the front of my planner, I took them out so I could show you, but I would put these, the smaller sized envelopes um, punched in there. Just kind of, I would offset them so that it would be easier for me to grab this one and then this one type of thing. But I could put my cash in here. You can use, you can even use like alphabet stickers or a label maker, and you can put a sticker on there saying what that cash is for. If you've heard of the cash envelope system by Dave Ramsey, I know some people have done that. Um, so you can put like groceries and then put your grocery money in here. You can put like coffee and you can put coffee in there, or um, you could put like. This one's probably gonna be the one I use for groceries because it's got donuts and I think that's kind of cute. So you can even like make it match what you're kind of buying. Like have a little faith, I could have it be like um, faith supply money. Like if I wanna save up for a new Bible, every time I can put a little bit of cash in there, when I go to buy a new Bible, it'll all be right there. So you can put your cash in there. Another way you can do it is by putting your receipts in one. You can make that label that says receipts or whatever. Um, put all of your receipts in here. And then I would pull them out once a week from my envelope and I would write them in my budget planner. Say what exactly do we spend money on? How much should we not be spending money on? Where can we cut back? And also, so many times, nine out of 10 times, I lose my receipts when I'm trying to return something. So it'd be perfect to have all your receipts in one space so that you can um, find them if you need to make a return. Is you can put business cards in them. So say, for example, you have um, someone gives you a business card. Uh, they're trying to sell you something, maybe it's a real estate agent or something. You could just put it in your envelope, have it in your planner, um, or maybe you're planning a wedding. You can put like uh, venues or any other types of business cards that you get. You can put them right in your envelope, put them right in a budget planner or a wedding planner and have those right available to you. Another thing that you can do is, um, many of you have seen the new Instagram handle cards that you can print and make, but you can print them. Um, if you're going to Joann's, you can put them in your little envelope. You see a planner, looking in the planner aisle and be like, look, I have an Instagram, pull it out, pull out your little Instagram name card and give it to them so that they can look you up on Instagram. Um, you can use either size for that. Gift cards, if you have like a Target gift card, a Walmart gift card, a Michaels gift card, Joann gift card, you can put your gift cards in there um, along with like, if you're doing it as a cash envelope system, you could put them in there so that you can have all your gift cards together with your cash. Maybe you wanna spend your gift card before you spend your cash, it'll all be right there. You could put like stickers. So maybe you carry your planner everywhere you go and you need like little checklists, little boxes or something like something comes up, you wanna put a sticker in your planner. You could just keep some stickers right in these envelopes, close it up, and have it just be there so that in case you need a sticker, in case you need something, you can put it right into these envelopes, pull it out, put it right in your planner. There are some ideas on how to use these snap-in envelopes. Um, I love them so much, they're like just so cute, so nice to have, they snap in perfectly to your planner, they have a tab that you can tuck into so that they are nice and secured, nothing will fall out of them. And there's so many different things that you can do with them. And I would love to hear how you use them um, in your planners to help you plan a happy life. Well, thank you so much for watching my video about snap-in envelopes. I hope that you will continue to follow along as I plan happy life and continue to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.